we begin the night with four rounds of boxing in the heavyweight division. Introducing the red corner first. He wears the red with white trim. His professional record, six wins with two losses. Four wins coming by way of knockout from Budapest, Hungary. Introducing Shandor Balloon. Fighting out of the blue corner, he wears the red tonight. In his professional debut, he comes to us by way of Ukraine. He fights out of Toronto, Ontario. Introducing Alexander Teslanko. And the referee in charge of the action, Floyd Porter. Given your instructions in the changing room, I expect you to obey those instructions. Remember to protect yourself at all times. Touch gloves, head back to your corner. Good luck. We start off tonight's broadcast with Alexander Teslenko, one of Ukraine's best amateurs. He fights Sandor Balog, coming to us from Hungary. Troy, Alexander had a bright amateur career. He fought 224 fights, winning almost all of them. Only 23 defeats in his amateur career. What does that mean for a fighter? What does that mean, Kled? This is... Um his going out, he knows exactly what to do. He's comfortable inside of the ring. Well, we've That's already seen a beautiful left hook to the body. He's already dictating the pace. He's throwing out his jab. And Malok looks a little bit confused. Maybe he's just, oh, a hard left hook. A hard left hook. He looks hurt. Goes to the body. And that's exactly it. Once you have all these fights underneath your belt and growing up in the, in the sport, pretty much he knows exactly what to do. He's yep. relaxed, and you can see that he's picking his punches. He's putting his, he's putting his punches together. He realized, yes. Yeah, he's, he's going not, to he's, the body. He's, he's going, going, to the going to the body, he's going to the head, and he knows that he's not hurt as yet. Yeah, Sandor Bullock's a good fighter. He comes to us 6-2 and two from Hungary. You know, it's a funny story because there's another Sandor Bullock who comes from Hungary whose record is 3-32. and 32. So when this fight was made, I, saw that, I thought that it was that Sandor. But I'm glad to hear that Alexander is fighting a really good opponent for his fourth debut because typically a guy starting his career fights another guy starting his career or he fights a fighter who might be regarded as, you know, a losing record. But he's getting a good match and... Right away from the first round, he's dominating the action. Lands a hard right hand there. He lands a hard right, and he's picking his punches. Still, Bal Bala is still not quite hurt, but he's still putting his punches together. He looks Senko. a little bit hurt to me, Troy. He looks like he's a little bit dazed. But do you think he's going to make it out of this round? It's a possibility he can make it out of this round. Unless the Senko put his punches together oh, much better. Lands a hard right hand he's, again. He's, he's, he's landing that straight right at will. He definitely is. And, you know, he's keeping his hands low because it looks like he doesn't feel that there's any danger coming back. So does that is, is that his strategy or do you think that's his style? I know you've seen him spar in the gym. He's trained by Chris Johnson, a good friend of yours. Goes to the body again there. Is that his style it's, or is he just throwing caution to the wind? Oh, lands a he, knockdown there. I think Bala just went down because he's getting hit with Six, unnecessary punches. Seven. Every punch eight. is pretty much landing on him. Ready to go on? So right now he's frustrated. That's why he went down. Box. Yep, he's back up now. The ref is letting him continue. There's the 10 second mark. Goes to the nice body. body. And that's and that's what a that's what an experienced fighter does. Goes to the body, then goes up to the head. Takes you know. the wind out of the body and then goes to the head. It's quite a compliment when you talk about a guy making his pro debut, but talk about his experience. That's the amateur background that we've been talking about. And tonight's theme will be the amateur system because Lennox Lewis, uh, during the build-up to this event, talked a lot about how the amateur system in Canada has been getting weaker over the years. 
there was a time when the Canadian amateurs made a big mark on the international scene. We remember the uh, Summer Olympics of 88, where Lennox Lewis won his gold medal and Egerton Marcus won his silver medal. And Lennox Lewis turned out to be one of the best heavyweight fighters of all time. Nowadays, we don't even have uh, a fighter, a single fighter going to the Olympics. And it's looking unlikely that we'll have a single fighter going to the Olympics in 2016, other than the rising star, Arder uh, Bierslenov, who fights out of Toronto as well and might be in this ring in the future. Yes, that's right, Kaleb. This is, it's finally, Let's go, second. we need to get the boxing back. And that's exactly what this brings. Having shows like that, having these younger fighters come out to these kind of shows and inspire them to get to start training and get inside of the ring. And that is what's going to motivate them. Having more shows, having more promoters uh, put on shows like this, whether it's amateur or it's professional. We start round two. Taslenko lands a hard jab. It looks like everything he's landing is making an impact. He's fighting at heavyweight, but has told us that he can also make the cruiserweight weight class, which is your weight class. Does he look like a heavyweight? He looks like a pretty big guy. I think it would be hard for him to make 200 pounds. You know what? He, he does look like a, a very good big guy, and he does look like he has much to take off. But until you actually step on the scale and figure out whether or not you can make it, if you can go through that rigorous uh, training to lose weight, you just land a nice straight, straight right, another straight right, and he's landing at will. The ref might stop this at any time. Now. I believe, I believe so that the ref will have to step in to stop the fight. He lets the fight go on. It actually looked like Sandor actually dropped there. He might have dropped the knee on the ground, but we're not sure if that actually made contact with the ring mat. Kuchenko right now, you can see, is very comfortable inside the ring. He's landing at will. Uh, what I would like to see him do is put more jabs together, hit the body, come up to the head, instead of just targeting just the head. That's a good point, Troy, because he started the fight going to the body, going to the head, mixing the jab, following with the right hand. He went down there, just came off with a nice left hook to the head. Beautiful. So we're seeing quite the arsenal so far. We've seen left hooks to the body. We've seen right hand and the referee stops the fight there. Toslenko wins his first fight as a pro in the second round. Well, you can see Thank you. has the experience inside the ring. He was very comfortable. He, at no time did I see him having any problems or him being nervous. He definitely and, and, and this is this is actually a good win for him because he had a chance to get off, get that icebreaker out of the way with his first debut, and now it comes as a now it comes as a knockout in second round. He did a great job there. He came in the ring. He did exactly what he had to do. He showed the crowd that he's got power, that he's not just got power, but got technique. Throws that jab, throws the hooks to the body, lands the right hand. He actually landed everything in this punch. He put him down with the right hand. He put him down with the left hook to, to finish the fight. But he also mixed up everything well. I think that in the future, we're, 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 we're seeing the start of potentially uh, a world champion at cruiserweight or heavyweight down the road. Oh, definitely. definitely. Definitely he can be a champion, and he just needs to keep boxing the way he's boxing. Right now, you can see him working the uppercuts, the straight rights. He's putting his punches together well, and he's just waiting on his opponent, Bola. See that left hook right there? Another look at the left hook. He's jabbing. He's, he's making sure he has his distance. He throws it out, measures, measures his opponent, comes over with a nice hook. That was great. A nice left hook to the head, and that's all she wrote. Troy, we've been seeing a lot of amateurs. Traditionally, the amateurs would fight 15 fights, 20 fights, if they were highly ranked amateurs, in the pro game before they really fought at the world title level. Now we've seen Lomachenko. Uh, win a title in only his third fight. We've seen Zhu Shiming attempt to win a, a world title 10 fights in. We've seen now Roshi Warren a few weeks ago uh, lose, but he tried to win a world title 15 fights in. Is this new trend a good thing or a bad thing for boxing? You know, I don't believe it's a, it's a bad thing. It could be a good thing for them to advance their career, but it all depends on the... In TKO now, undefeated as 
a professional, Alexander Peslenko.